What you digging for? Alright, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, today we're going to be taking Thor's group out for a walk. I'm going to be catching up uh, with the group, updating you on what's been going on. We've had a lot of drama with this group. Um, it's the six youngest lions in the sanctuary. However, um, <clears throat> it's probably the group that's given us the most, well given me the most grey hair and had the vet out the most in the past six months. So today we'll be delving into these guys a little bit closer, looking at their anatomy, look at their, looking at their capabilities. As, uh, yeah, as, as lions, they are impressive, impressive animals. Accelerate really quickly, tire out really quickly, built like a sprinter, um, can reach they say maximum of 70, some would argue 80 kilometers an hour. Okay, let's just look at Loli as she looks at, she rolls around in some poo poo. Give me a chance to talk about her. Yeah, it's no surprise when you look at an animal that's got four legs and they run on their toes. So we refer to lions as digitigrade, us humble humans are plantigrade. We look with our foot flat. In other words, we walk on our heel. Heel toe, heel toe. Whereas these guys, they never touch their heel. It's always on the toes. So that is common in most of the mammals, like lions and cats. You can see there, she's on the front legs and you can see where her actual foot is. You can see the heel Boom, and you can see the Achilles tendon, the famous Achilles tendon. Here comes Jubes Jubes. <laughs> got a fright. Oh, Jubes got a thorn in her foot. You can see how she's giving a good demonstration of walking. Maybe later they'll give a demonstration of running. Maybe she's going to jump on old Charlie. Okay, he's going to grab the poo. I'm going to move off. Charlie loves, 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 loves his poo. And uh, male lions specifically get really, really aggro when they are rolling around in their poo poo. No, Charlie! Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my gosh. That just... <laughs> Oh, I've just been sprayed by lions. That's so historical. While they've all slowed down, as have I, uh, walking here with Nej. Nej has really been in the wars. The other week, got called to have a look at Nej's tail. Uh, now, those of you who've followed for a long, long time, you'll know that Nej is always in the wars. She's also becoming quite a character. I must just tell you one of her videos of her jumping on the car. Um, at the time of making this video was close to a hundred million views <laughs> it was a little short we put on YouTube and uh, you can go and have a look at it it's it's quite a cute little video but uh, not the kind of video that I would have expected to, to go viral uh, anyway it did Nej is quite famous everyone loves Nej and says she's quite the character and she is but uh, a long time ago she got into a scrap with her mates and uh, came off second best as normal as per usual and her ear got split in two almost almost ripped off and uh, the good old Dr. Caldwell had to come and stitch her back up and her ear is actually pretty good I mean if you look at it sorry about the camera shadow but if you look at her ears yeah they're pretty 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 sorted so the other day I get the call Oh, Kev, will you please have a look at Nej's tail? And I'm like, what now, Nej? So I'm going to have a look. And her tail is a broken about a quarter way from the tip. But it looks like um, the tail's actually been severed in a snare. It's been cut all the way around. And just hanging on pretty much by 
a few uh, ligaments. So anyway, we knew Doc Caldwell had to be called out and he came out and yeah, I was hoping that he would be able to work some magic and some miracles, but uh, he immediately told me that uh, immediately told me that that tail is impossible to save, uh, the tip of the tail, and so oh, we had to amputate the, uh, the, the tip of Nesha's tail, which has been a nightmare because you can imagine a lion just wants to flick that tail around, and you know, so we had to move them into an area where there was no buildings so that the tail could have time to heal and then you know, after a few days it started to swell it actually the tip of the tail she looked after that very well but uh, after a few days you can see the you know, Neja is no tip or tuft left on her tail you can see there hey Neji I think you're still gorgeous my girl but hey a little bit different looking now Okay, so they've all come here to cause trouble with the hyenas, but the, <laughs> the hyenas are not playing ball today. <laughs> they are just, uh, okay, there's one. Use the keto's trying, uh, half-hearted, half-hearted. Reason being, they had a nice big meal yesterday. So the hyenas are just not really interested in playing lion games. Isn't it just so cool following the lines about, guys? I mean, I find it therapeutic. I hope you do too. What are you digging for? Find something. <laughs> Neji Peji, why has she been such a cow? Eh? Hello, my boy. Did you get the lion's share? Wow. He did indeed. It's one thing the boys do. <laughs> the boys know how to dominate the kill. And they're just so persistent. But wow, guys. Flip it up. Dan, I'm not sure how much of this you're going to use. But anyway, that was incredible. It just goes to show. I mean, these guys are so... They're so in form. They're so in tune. Um, they don't miss anything and I, I saw them come here and I was wondering why okay so she's really upset because she she can smell that there's warthogs in there this is a warthog burrow site there's a lot of um, well used holes here so she's trying to get in there and that's what you know that's how this whole thing started guys we were, I was trying to lure them to go towards the dam and they were uh, they were obviously scenting something here um, and then the other two went up towards those trees there in the distance and so while she was getting all grumpy with uh, Nej she's still grumpy I then heard commotion over there and next thing is Warthog comes running for its life boom 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 right here and she catches it over there 
And then next thing it's pandemonium. I mean, they all just tuck in, all six lines on one tiny little warthog. And I mean, that, I didn't know what hit it. It was over in a second. I wouldn't even say that that lasted a minute. It didn't even last 10 seconds. And then it was gone. Um, and then the next fight was really how much of that tiny carcass everyone was going to get. And the boys, were, the boys were adamant that they were going to get the lion's share. That's old Tori licking his lips and paws, getting rid of all the blood now. It's just mental to witness this, guys, and be a part of it. Um, kind of be a fly on the wall. And I know that a lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh, it's terrible, it's, 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 um, it's sad, and, but it's, this is what happens in a lion pride. That was a feeding pride of lions, six lions on a kill. They all got a little bit. So I would say, you know, if that was in the wild, it would be enough to sustain them at least till tomorrow. Um, so yeah, really interesting, man. Wow, I don't know what to say. I'm flabbergasted. Just when you think uh, the walk's going to come to an end, they're all going to come lie in the shade, then all havoc uh, breaks out. All hell breaks loose. <laughs> wow.